Welcome, Ambassador, to our program, and thank you for inviting us to your residence. Good de France is inspired by the Epicurean dinner, and Auguste Escoffier, who coined this concept, he's somebody who was known for, for simplifying, for modernizing the traditional French cuisine. And so is the Good de France then in the same vein as the Epicurean dinner, that is to say, not only about showcasing the epitome of French traditional cuisine, but also to show its innovation as well. France is a very modern country. We have a tradition, we have culture, so our cuisine, which is now uh, in the uh, um, registered as a, as a world heritage of the UNESCO, uh, not only for the cuisine, but also for the art life, which is around the cuisine. So this is something which exists. Apart from that, in our cuisine, we are uh, able to innovate, and we want to show that this cuisine is not something from the past. It's uh, of the past. It's something which belongs to the current, to the present times, which uh, allows, uh, enables innovation, and also for the reason, uh, the reason that it is uh, based on uh, uh, products which are products from uh, fresh products, pr products from the terroir, as we say, products which have a link with history but which can be worked out in another way and adapted to the modern world. And the other idea is also to show that this cuisine is not only for wealthy people, for people who would be apart from the rest of the world. It's accessible to everyone. It's tradition, it's culture, it's innovation, it's simplification of the, the way the people are having their meals, are going to, their, to, their, to the products. Because uh, in the past, as one knows, there was more fat, more uh, uh, different, uh, d d there were different tastes. People are uh, in evolution and uh, the cuisine must uh, have its own evolution along with the people themselves. So that's what we are proposing uh, this year. So it will be less fat, it will be less, there will be less salt. Uh, we have to deal also in this uh, adventure of cuisine with uh, food safety, which is something very important to all our uh, societies now. At the French Embassy, yeah. people can experience a very authentic French meal, as we can see. Yet, are the menus, do they also reflect and cater to the local people, to the local, the varying taste of the local guests? As for everything, uh, there are differences in the approach of taste. There are some countries in which one have, has, has a rather uh, salty uh, meals or spicy meals or sweet meals. Um, here, we know that our Chinese friends uh, don't like so much too much sweet or too salty. They have uh, better, they have rather spicy. Uh, depending also from the regions, but there are also Chinese uh, in Sichuan, yes, it's very spicy as one knows, uh, but in other regions would be different. So um, we, have, we have tried not to uh, enhance too much the, 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 the taste of some dishes so that it can be enjoyed by every one of our guests. What's your favorite French dish? So there is, for instance, the creme brulee, something uh, I used to, to, to eat in my childhood. So it's something which is, which is now very fashionable. So I'm glad that uh, I can enjoy creme brulee uh, here or there. <laughs> <laughs> my holiday times when I was a child in the countryside with uh, an old lady which was living near us and would bring creme brulee because she had the speciality of creme brulee. So it was uh, part of fun and, uh, and conviviality. But I know the Chinese know that very well because when Chinese are sitting around a, a table, around a round table even. It's, uh, it sets up uh, an atmosphere which the French can enjoy very much and I think in that regard French and Chinese are very close to each other uh, around the table with a good meal and uh, talking to each other and drinking as well. If you were to recommend a dish, a menu that is for somebody who is vegetarian, what would it be? I think you have this. Uh, you have vegetables which are excellent uh, in China. The kale, uh, these uh, green vegetables, which are uh, directly uh, um, um, cooked under warm water, so they keep they keep uh, something which is cracky in the in the way that they are. Uh, the texture is in your mouth, and at the same time, it keeps uh, up the, the, the taste so well. So uh, I think for vegetables, China is a very, very uh, rich country. Um, I would say also that dim sums with the vegetables inside are also something I would, I would uh, advise to, to vegetarians. But I am not a vegetarian myself. I love kale myself. You're talking about kale, right? Yeah. The very the fuzzy, the fuzzy yes, vegetable. Yeah, very and you can't find it uh, elsewhere as in China. Right, it's my favorite vegetable. See? 
<laughs> it's I, mine I, as well. Actually, what I used to, the way that I cook it is I boil in water, like you said, yeah. and I put a little sesame oil and a little sprinkle of salt, and it tastes very chewy, and it's got that very strong aroma. Very aroma much so. Yeah. Aroma is key, you know. You start eating something while taking the aroma direct in your nose. So yeah. you must enjoy the aroma first. You must enjoy also the way it's presented to your sight. How do you see that? So the presentation of the dish, which is something to which the, at which, which the French give a great importance, is, is a crucial. You, you must enjoy how it's presented. Then you enjoy the taste. And then you enjoy the aftertaste. That's something very important as well. The taste doesn't, must not disappear at once. And if you can have, add, if you can add to the taste something which you drink, which fits perfectly well, red wine, white wine of different sorts, so this is really a piece of art you have in your mouth and you have in front of you and an enjoyment which is great. This is gastronomy. Now let's bring it back to you, you know, to your career and your work as ambassador. You have a very strong track record for, for strengthening business ties as an ambassador. And of course, it's also understood that cultural ties, strong cultural ties, are also important for business and political ties. So how would you use your expertise in the business sector to bolster cultural exchanges between China and France? Culture is the stronghold which binds us in our relationship. China is an ancient country, highly cultural country. France is an ancient country with also an old culture. And so uh, that's a way we can understand each other. We have this background, cultural background. If we look at cuisine precisely, if we look at cuisine, it's gastronomy, it's culinary art, but these are products. It, it means that in the field of business, we can have more agro-food exchange between uh, France and China. We can invest, we can have investment in that regard. We can, thanks to the cuisine, uh, we can attract t uh, Chinese tourists to our country because of culture, as cuisine is culture, we can um, build up this uh, link, which is uh, something out of which, uh, which will generate, I would say, exchanges for business and investment, which is uh, very important for both our countries. Culture is emotion. Emotion talks to the heart. So we must have not only rationals in our approach of things, but also something which comes from the heart. And that's how we I would say Chinese and French work together so well because of our hearts working and I would say giving the impulsion to our actions. Thank you very much for joining us on our program. Thank, Thank you, you Ambassador. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you.